All right, diggers, I've got a 1047 signal here, and uh, I'm going to try and dig it up and see uh, what we got. Uh, actually, 647 now at uh, 6 inches there. So let's see what we got. Well, you see there, diggers. Looks like a silver Washington to me. All right. Well, uh, that's my second silver quarter of the year, and, um, my seventh silver out of this yard. On to the next. All right, diggers. Um, this one, 11.46 at five inches. Um, it, it's, it, it's got a real high tone to it, but it's got kind of a trashy sound at the same time. So I don't know if it's a coin laying with trash or if it's a big smashed tin can. Oh. <laughs> Clad quarter. Alright, All right, diggers, this is sounding uh, like in the nickel range. Uh, yeah, I got it to hit a 12-12 on a couple sweeps, but for the most part, it was not 12-12. It was like 15-something, and... Okay, it's out. There it is. It's a nickel. That's Jefferson. All right, okay, I got a nickel next. signal about six or seven inches down here. Oh. <laughs> well, me and my big fat liar. All yeah, right, um, this was bouncing like a 1345, 1745, and it's uh, it's a good six inches down. So uh, it sounds like a coin. Could be a penny. Could be a token. Definitely had a solid, nice sound to it. Oh, it's, it's out of the thing, and I see it. It's a weedy. It's my second weedy today. It ground's too sticky to rub it. We had a big rain uh, Saturday morning, so... All right, on to the next. All right, diggers, I've got a real nice 12, 12, 12, 13, about five or six inches down. Ugh. I'm hoping this time it's a nickel. <laughs> there it is. It's another Jefferson. All right, All right, diggers, I got a target here. There might be some trash down here, but I was able to get like a 1345, uh, 1246, that sort of sounding, but then I think there's some trash down there too. So it could be a penny, or it could be a silver dime. It's a 
I've seen weirder things with this uh, with these signals it's nice um, crumbly dirt though that's good it's real nice and old All right, I'll come back. I'm having a little trouble finding Okay, uh, that signal turned out to be a 1957 wheat penny. And uh, I missed it by about three inches here. I had to kind of dig off to the side. All right. Well, diggers, map. right here is where I dug that uh, wheat penny. And uh, right over here I got a nickel signal. It was pretty faint. It's pretty deep. It's another Jefferson. But that's probably what was throwing the, the penny signal off uh, was this nickel. The nickels are really... Um, pull those higher tones down. All right, All right diggers, I got a pretty solid 1245 about six inches down. So, uh, let's see what she is. There it is. It's a weedy. Alright. Well, well this rang up as 1146 and I, I expected it to be a clad quarter. Oh, why couldn't that be silver? On to the next. Alright, diggers. This is a... Uh, 1246 at about uh, four or five inches. Uh, could be another penny hitting high, or it could be a silver. Man, I missed this one by a couple inches. What is this? Well, it's a pin. Earring, clip on earring. What is that, Mariella? Sounds, sounds real expensive, Marvella. All right, all right, diggers. This sounds like a nickel. It was, it was hitting a twelve thirteen. Uh, down about five or six inches. Twelve thirteen. That's what that V nickel hit when I was here last week. There it is. It's a Jefferson. Uh, the glare is so bright, I can't even see. There we go. All right. Hey, the diggers. Uh, I think this is an interesting find. I think it's a war nickel. It's got this rust. It's got a crust all around it. But it flakes off. And that's... Uh, clearly Jefferson under there but it's like completely encased in rust I thought it was a washer at first and it rang up with a, a higher pitch like a wheat penny so uh, I wonder if there's a steel penny in here or something else but it definitely had like a 1244 signal Nope, that's it. There's nothing else in there. All right, on to the next.
Alright diggers, check this out. I had a a nothing signal at eight inches. It was um it was a null, but in one direction it would just make the slightest little woof sound. Woof. Woof. Twelve twelve. Woof. Twelve twelve. No, no, no. Woof. Twelve twelve. So I went ahead and dug it and the first thing I pulled up is this uh old bottle cap, all that's left of this bottle cap. And directly underneath it, in fact, you can see where it was uh, protecting the coin. Looks like a V-nickel to me. It was directly underneath that bottle cap. It, this E-track is amazing that it can see through the bottle cap and see this nickel. And it's a V-nickel, and I haven't even looked at a date yet. All right. Alright diggers, uh, check this out. It's another 1912. Glare's real bright. I'm sorry. I can't even see this coin in my viewfinder. However, I'm pretty sure it has a mint mark. You know, 1912 was the only year that V-Nickels had a mint mark. And uh, it's to the left of the word sense underneath the little button there and I see a little speck but I can't read it so it just could be a little blister in the coin or it might actually be a mint mark alright on to the next alright diggers this locked on really strong 1246 at about six inches and I'm right here uh, by the sidewalk and uh, I mean it was just 1246 it wouldn't vary at all it was just locked on there's a couple roots in here so it's a little bit tough digging <clears throat> a little while ago I found a, a, a woman's compact right here along the edge of the sidewalk too looked pretty old Okay, I've, lo I've lost the signal, so I'm going to have to shut off the camera and try to find it. I'll get All right, it. diggers, wow. I had to uh, completely cover that hole up, and I could not get the 1246 to repeat, but I could get a, a, a real scrawny uh, 725. Uh, I don't know if it got flipped on edge or what, but I do see a silver dime in there. It's a rosy. So that'll be silver number three for today. But uh, that was just crazy. It was such a strong 1246. And then once I started digging, I couldn't even find it. All right, on to the next. All right, diggers, I'm still along this sidewalk and I've got a 948 at three inches. And it's, uh, it's screaming at me. So uh, let's hope it's not a frickin' stinking Lincoln again, and maybe it's something good and big and silver. Boy, these roots are fun. Okay, I'm getting a hit here. Come on, where's that silver edge? Oh, it's out. Oh, man. Oh, it's a token. Awesome. Oh, nice one, too. Yeah, these tokens, usually they're corroded or blistered up, but this one is not. It's in really good shape. All right, well, on to the next. All right, diggers, this is a 1247 at uh, 5 inches. And it's got a good sound to it. And so let's see if we got some silver in here.
Okay, I'm getting a hits right here on my uh, pinpointer. Oh, it's a clad quarter. Darn it! Ah. All right, on to All the right, next. diggers. I had a 1237 at six inches, and uh, it was this worm trying to make his getaway. But uh, looky here. It's a merc. Boy, it's really worn too. All right, on to the next. All right, diggers. This one was coming in like a penny, 11.44, only at three inches. Let's see what it is. It's a rosy. All right, on to the next.